Okay, so, um, editing Tiffany here uh, before we actually begin the haul video. I just wanted to clarify that the name of uh, the, uh, the boutique that I got the selenite stone from was the uh, Berry Blue Boutique. Um, as I state several times in the haul video, I was extremely tired uh, when I filmed that haul video, and I think I, I refer to it as the Blueberry Boutique a couple times, but it's the Berry Blue Boutique, and uh, they're awesome. They have all kinds of cool things like crystals and all that stuff if you're looking for that sort of thing. So, um, but yeah, it's all going to be in the description, but I just wanted to clarify that really quick. All right, now here's the haul video. Hey there, so this is another kind of mini haul. Uh, this one is actually from two different events, uh, one being the uh, Hydra Fall Festival at the Depreciation Lands Museum. Um, I was school marm there that day and it was a lot of fun. I was in the schoolhouse. I always love being in the schoolhouse there. Um, but yes, and uh, that's one event. And then the other event was the uh, Sleepy Hollow Festival in Harmony, Pennsylvania. Uh, now, I was in Harmony uh, this past Saturday uh, because partially because I was also doing some training to do some uh, history tours at the uh, Historic Harmony Museum. And also, I took in the Sleepy Hollow Festival, um, particularly their uh, mystics and uh, merchants um, <clears throat> Thing that they had going on, artisans that they had going on in Stuart Hall, where I did in fact perform with uh, Wayward Companions. Not not for the Sleepy Hollow Festival, but uh, we've performed there before. But this is just a, like I said, kind of a mini haul because I didn't really get a ton of stuff to warrant a big huge haul video, uh, kind of like the my Penn's Colony haul. But um, but this is these are a couple cool little items that I got. So. From the Hydra Fall Festival, I got uh, from Stony Lane Farms this beeswax hands hand cream. Um, sorry, I'm really tired. <laughs> it's it's beeswax hand cream. Uh, I'll say that a little more clear. And um, this stuff is really really awesome, um, especially in the winter time. And it's it's handmade, obviously. And you really only need a small amount. Um, beeswax is uh, the primary ingredient in it, and um, they do keep bees. Uh, this is actually uh, run by um, the uh, museum coordinator of the Depreciation Lands Museum and her husband. They keep bees. They have all kinds of cool things going on <laughs> at their uh, place of uh, business and residence. So it's, yeah, so this I got. I actually, I bought this uh, right at the beginning of, like actually right before we opened to the public at Hydriff, Um just because I knew that they were probably going to run out. So, and I wanted to snatch some up, but yes, I got that. These are the things I got at uh, this. Well, this is the one thing I got at Hydriff because I was in the schoolhouse um, all day and I didn't really get to wander around a whole lot. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is the one, this is the item that I bought at uh, Hydriff. Okay, so now I'll just move that out of the way. Now on to... Um, onto the Historic Harmony uh, Sleepy Hollow Festival. So, like I said, I went in and visited their mystics and uh, merchants artisans in Stuart Hall. Got a couple things from this one from a Blueberry Boutique. Uh, they sell all sorts of things, uh, crystals, incense, uh, all sorts of things of that nature. I thought this, uh, you know, this is just a Notepad. I thought it was adorable. It said Harvest Blessings. Very, very festive. Very in season. And I got this beautiful piece of selenite. Because we all need a little more selenite in our lives. So I got that. That was, um, was Blueberry Boutique. Okay. I definitely want to visit their um, in-person store too because I love their items. Uh, I love what they had at um, the Sleepy Hollow Festival. And this was another uh, from the uh, Mystics and Merchants Artisans. Um, this is from 
Ginger Mysteries. Okay, that's the name of this uh, merchant, this company. And this is their Awakening Wisdom Candle. Now, this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's crystals in there. Um, and this smells like it, it has, it smells like a combination of um, vanilla, also some ginger, as well as some sort of citrus. It's, it's so good. And I love, like I said, love that there's crystals in there. And it's made out of, uh, here, let me get that to focus. Oh, come on. All right, but it but it's made of vegan uh, coconut soy uh, wax. It's like a s coconut and soy hybrid wax candle. So I look forward to using that. And last but not least, um, also from Ginger Mysteries, uh, Dead Sea Salt. Sorry, this camera's not focusing. What's going on? But it is a uh, Dead Sea uh, bath salt um, bombs or some, yeah, Dead Sea bath bomb salts. Sorry, like I said, I'm tired. It's been a long day, but, <laughs> but yeah, but this is a jar of the um, Dead Sea salt bath bombs. I'm really looking forward to using them. They also smell delicious too, but um, yes, but I will have... Um, links to all of these um, uh, merchants websites in the description and I just wanted to give you that uh, just kind of show you what I got at the last couple events all right so I will see you in the next video take care and have a lovely evening afternoon morning wherever whatever it is where you're at all right see you in the next video all right, one more thing. So today I was also at the Three Rivers Comic Con um, helping promote the comic book and web series Heroinburg that I am in. And I don't get to do, uh, sometimes like if I'm working an event, I don't get to do much shopping. Um, however, I got a little something from the uh, Three Rivers uh, Comic Con. And this lovely vendor here, Tinned Pineapple, all right, uh, had these mystery bags um, with different themes. I saw a Wizard of Oz mystery bag. I saw j j just from like different, um, uh, different popular uh, shows and movies and everything. Um, and this was a Game of Thrones mystery bag, which of course I had to pick up. I haven't opened it yet, so I was going to open it on camera. Um, I think uh, the bags are supposed to include, like, like you, as you can see, they're pretty small. Um, but they were like five bucks, so I was like, hey, why not? I'll get a Game of Thrones mystery bag. But... Um, but they're supposed to include like a keychain, some buttons and everything. So, all right, but I'm a little excited about this. So let us open it up. Okay. What is in my Game of Thrones mystery bag? We shall see. All right. Oh, these are, so oh, I love it. Nice. The Iron Islands, very cool. Oh. oh, I love this. Here, I'll move that over so you can see it better. Very cool, and what does the keychain look like? Oh, sweet. How nice. So yes, that was in my little mystery bag. So I thought I thought that was kind of fun. And there were also these other cool um, vendors that I, you know, happened to stop by. Uh, I plan to um, hopefully uh, buy from uh, them in, you know, pretty relatively soon. Uh, Feral Princess Resin. Um, and also Pittsburgh Avengers, they're kind of a cosplayer group. So uh, they, were, they were cool people to hang with for a little bit. All right. So yes, I just wanted to add that on to my little haul video because why not? All right. So, okay. So I will now I'll really uh, see you in the next video. All right. Take care.